It has been a few days now since the Grand Theft Auto 6 official trailer has dropped and a lot has happened. There's been, I mean, how the trailer itself got leaked. There's all these people trying to get it banned on Twitter, including maybe even Elon Musk or something. I don't care about all that. All I want to know is more about the game. I still can't believe this game is two years away or well, even more. Time has barely felt like it's moved since it's released. So I wanted to go over five things that we can take away from this trailer. In the meantime, while we're probably waiting at least one, one plus years for another trailer. Coming in at number one, this is in really no particular order, is the graphics. I mean, god damn, they look so beautiful. We've truly seen nothing like it. Rockstar, of course, went above and beyond and blew everyone's expectations away. Any game right now just feels like complete and utter garbage, and we'll be waiting two plus years to finally be able to see not garbage again. It's incredible. The graphics look so good that people are speculating whether or not the PS5 or Xbox Series X slash S will even be able to run this game at 60 FPS, and I'm definitely curious about it too. Considering it's only console at launch, which has been confirmed by Rockstar themselves over on their Newswire as well as a Take-Two article, Rockstar has always done a fantastic job of optimizing their games, not including the trilogy. Bruh. I think just like the trailer, where they completely blew our expectations away, both graphically and just how fun the game looks how massive the game looks i think they're just gonna do the same thing and make the game 60 fps on consoles i think they'll find a way i think they'll optimize it i think it'll perform well i would like to find out soon though not that we really have a choice at launch because like i said it's going to be consoles only i would really like to know whether or not it will be 60 fps or if whether or not a ps5 pro or an xbox pro edition will come out that will run it at 60 fps there's an industry standard and then there's a rockstar standard Standard. I think Rockstar will go above and beyond in making this game 60 FPS by the time 2025 comes around. Number two is a controversial one. For some reason, I personally do not have a problem with it, but whether or not Lucia is going to be the quote unquote main protagonist out of the two, Jason and obviously Lucia. Because we did get a fair more share of shots of her in the trailer, and we actually got a lot more lines, both in narration and just some cutscenes in general throughout the trailer, and we only got one word out of Jason, which was trust. It could also just simply be for marketing because Lucia is going to be the first ever woman protagonist in a 3D GTA game. And once again, I'll say there's an industry standard and there's a Rockstar standard. Recently, in their own game, Red Dead Redemption 2, we got amazing woman characters, including Sadie Adler. She had a very, very cool background and rich, rich character story, all that. She was an amazing character and a lot of people forget about her so soon. It was only five years ago, though we weren't able to play as her. We still got to see her quite a bit, especially towards the end of the game. And she was a fantastic character. A lot of people say Rockstar's going woke and that a woman doesn't belong in the Grand Theft Auto series, especially as a playable character. I really don't care who the main protagonist is because at the end of the day, we may spend 40, 80, 100 hours in story mode. We're going to be spending the rest of the majority of our time in GTA Online. Let's be honest with ourselves. Yeah, we'll experience the story when it first drops, but once online hits, story isn't going to get much playing time, let me tell you. And I also don't care about the gender of the main protagonist because Rockstar's gonna make a great story. I just know they will, there's just, it can't not be amazing, there's way too much hype and expectation for this game. I'm gonna love Lucia as a main protagonist, or maybe the second main protagonist, I really don't care. And for everyone thinking that Rockstar is going woke and trying to cater to some sorts of people, let me just show you this picture and change your mind real quick. Okay, look at all these people. Now imagine you're in a monster truck, a tank, an insurgent, some sort of big heavy armored vehicle, and you you can be able to plow through all these hundreds of even thousands of people. It's not going woke. It's not going soft. Rockstar is still their own satirical selves, and I'm really, really excited for this game, and I'm really excited for Lucia as a main protagonist and possibly having the quote-unquote main role for the game. Coming in at number three, I really want to know if these interiors, this social space, is going to be this alive. There are so many people shown off in the trailer. It looks like even thousands of people could be on that recent beach photo that I showed you guys. It very easily could have been for cinematic purposes showing off this game, 
or it could have been showing off just how much this game can handle. Rockstar knows and worked out and planned every nanosecond, every frame of this trailer. So there are no accidents there, whether it be interiors or beaches, will these crowds of people actually be there even in the hundreds or even thousands of npcs spawning in at once i would absolutely love to see this many people in social or interior spaces like a beach like a hotel party like a club like i showed but i wouldn't want to see that many like cars if that makes sense on the road at once the realistic traffic has never really appealed to me because it's just 10 times harder to drive. I like clearer streets, though they can be busier in some spots and you might have to maneuver around them. I don't want them to be too, too realistic. But I'm really, really curious, not only if these NPCs are going to be this alive and be all over the place in these social spaces, but the NPCs in some of the animations that we saw them doing were absolutely insane. In this beach photo, we got a man spraying down what looks to be his friend with suntan lotion. That's one of the many, many examples that this trailer showed off was not only how many people could be in these places at once, but how alive they're going to be and how human they're going to be. These NPCs are just going to be so, so insane in some of the animations and some of the routes and the just things they're going to be able to do in this game. I think a lot of this trailer showed off uh, some of the NPC animations and just how lively this game is going to be and feel. Coming in at number four is something that I think was really, really overlooked by the community. I personally don't see enough people talking about it, and that is kids. Are kids going to be in GTA 6, or is this just purely for promo? That looks like a kid to me, because it looks like he's playing with other kids in the mud. Maybe it's for like some sort of TV commercial in-game. Or maybe just for purely one of the social media posts and we won't actually be able to play with kids. Sorry, that came out wrong. Maybe we won't actually be able to see kids around the map. I just know damn well the day this game comes to PC, there are going to be children mods everywhere. And there's going to be people massacring them on every single social media platform there is. And coming in at number five is gonna have to be social media and its impact on the game. I really want to dive deeper into this concept and I'll probably end up making my own concept video on social media alone and maybe even multiple videos on this concept alone. Like I mentioned before, there is no accidents in this trailer. Every nanosecond, every frame was perfectly crafted by Rockstar for this trailer and it's not a coincidence that almost half of the trailer is these social media posts. Maybe we'll be able to post on our own, like, sort of TikTok or Instagram. Maybe this is how random events are going to work. Maybe this is how we're going to get some jobs in GT Online. There is just so much that this social media thing could have an impact on the game. And last video, or a couple videos ago at this point now, I made a video on whether or not Aiden Ross is going to be in this video game. He went to Twitter saying that he had a cameo in this video game and that he may even be in the next upcoming coming trailer within the next year or so. So will social media influencers like Aiden Ross even have an impact on GTA 6 in that social media influencing thing in GTA 6? I have no idea. I will definitely dive deeper into this concept if you guys would like to see that. Those are five of the many, many, many things we can learn about this game just from the 90 second trailer. Yet, I felt like we learned so much yet we learned absolutely nothing about this game because this is just how big this game is gonna be man and the expectations and the hype is just so through the roof i feel like no game will ever feel the same ever since i watched the trailer and it really hasn't it's just ah, man i can't wait for this game and i'm so excited so let me know your thoughts down below maybe some other things that i may have overlooked or add to some things that i've said here in today's video with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace